case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1909, the U.S. Supreme Court heard the case of Nielsen v. Oregon, which centered around the unique situation where two states have jurisdiction over the same area. In this instance, the Columbia River, which forms a boundary between Oregon and Washington. The case dealt with the question of whether an individual who had performed an act authorized by Washington but prohibited by Oregon could be prosecuted by Oregon for the same act. This legal conundrum arose due to the two states' concurrent jurisdiction over the Columbia River, which enables both states to have authority over the same area. However, unclear wording in the legislation led to confusion regarding the limits of each state's jurisdiction. After deliberating over the meaning and implications of concurrent jurisdiction, the Supreme Court concluded that both states could indeed administer the law below the low watermark on the river and had the right to serve the process there. Despite this decision, the court ultimately determined that Oregon could not prosecute and punish the individual for the act committed within Washington's territorial limits, as it was authorized and permitted by Washington state law. As a result, the case was returned for further proceedings in accordance with the court's opinion, effectively setting a significant precedent for future cases involving cross-border jurisdiction disputes in the United States. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.